Hi guys, I'm Will from VPN Mentor. Welcome to our tutorial and review of VPN Master. We'll take a look at the services they offer, how easy it is to register and pay, and how responsive their customer service is. Also, we'll put their network to the test so you don't have to. If you like this video and found it helpful, please like, share and leave comments in the section below. First off, we are presented with a banner where, besides other things, is claimed they offer unblocked content from various streaming services, including Netflix. But we'll see how they perform on that field a little bit later. Their homepage shows they offer monthly, tri-monthly and yearly plans for their services. And all of them include unlimited bandwidth and instant setup. As for the actual VPN service, they mention that the network has a military-grade security with 128-bit encryption, and more importantly, they unblock geo-restricted content on every website. The encryption will make you safe and sound while moving through the web and staying anonymous while doing so. Also, the customer support is available 24-7 and will certainly check how they perform. They also guarantee on giving a no questions asked refund if you're not satisfied with their service within the first 24 hours. Let's now check their monthly plan and what payment methods are supported. As always, before subscribing to their or any other VPN services, make sure to check out our coupon page and get a better deal on your purchase. After filling the necessary information, like at any other VPN service provider, we're selecting PayPal as our preferred payment method. But they also accept credit card and of course Bitcoin. And success! Now going to my services, we can see that our subscription is now active. On the sides we have shortcuts for billing and how to set up our VPN, as well as some troubleshooting guide in case there are some issues. Let's check out their application and head to the download section. Here we encounter our first problem. It appears there are no clearly marked download boxes or links for downloading the app. And even when navigating to the download page we are presented with an error with missing content. Since we couldn't locate the page for downloading the app, we tried talking to customer support through a chat available on their homepage. After a pretty inaccurate answer to the question, we found out that all download links are sent within the confirmation email received upon purchase. After checking out, we can see that they offer app support for Windows and Android, as well as OpenVPN, but no Linux nor iOS support. They also noted that only Russian and German servers support torrenting, making our options pretty limited. Now let's set up our desktop app and see how it behaves. And here we are, checking out the available locations. And we can see 14 of them. A few common options are shown in the settings menu. Let's select the USA and see if we can connect. And we're now connected, heading to see our new IP address. And we seem to end up with no data stream. Trying to open a speed test page results in the same way. And now it looks like we're disconnected. Trying to connect with a different server within the USA results in the same way. And the exact same problem happens when we attempted accessing it through Windows default VPN settings. We're going to submit a ticket to their support and see what could be done with the problem we faced. We set our ticket priority to high and hope our issue will be resolved quickly. And we encounter one more strange thing with their website. When we tried to apply to a ticket, we could only do it if we opened the link through our ticket confirmation email, but not through the website ticket system. That seems like quite a big bug on their website, and we hope they'll address it soon. Pretty soon we received an automated generic response with an explanation on how to make sure our connection is established and fully functional. Since none of the mentioned things helped us create a working connection, we continue with OpenVPN as our last option. We're connected and going right away to see if it shows the new address. Success! We can see the address is based in Netherlands. And there's our second potential problem. Location is always set automatically. And changing it is not possible. So let's check out our service performance. So before we proceed, we need to clear cookies and other browsing data, just to make sure that everything goes as planned. Seeing here is that the ping is 48, which is not bad. 
and download speed of 6.63 megabytes per second and upload of 2.34 megabytes per second are good results and in the same ballpark as many other alternative VPN services. So we can't complain about that. Comparing that to our local connection shows the real difference in performance. Since we successfully tested the network speed, let's check how the service handles Netflix content. We're searching for a TV series called Futurama that I know is unavailable in our country. And it seems it still isn't available even though the VPN connection is still there. And the issue is bigger with the inability to change the server location. Too bad. Since we measured the network performance and completed our test, we're going to apply for a refund and see how their customer support handles our request. Going back to my services page on their website and raising a ticket asking for a refund. And we can see our refund ticket has been created. We received a response after 5 minutes. But after 10 days we actually received the funds back to our account. If you're interested in VPN Masters and would like to know about their offer, I suggest going to our review page where you'll be able to find a lot of details about their service as well as expert reviews and current ratings so you can compare them with other VPN services. Usually we'd conclude our tutorial and review with comparing the pros and cons of a service. But in this case, while the network speeds were on a satisfying level, we are unable to recommend VPN Master. Their service showed serious issues where we couldn't establish a working connection with any method except OpenVPN. Working connection was unstable. The service offered only auto-select locations, Netflix content was unavailable, they offered no Linux or iOS support, ticketing and support systems have bugs. The biggest concern is their unresponsive customer support, which hasn't responded to our problems with the network connection for almost two weeks. And although the refund was successful, it took some time to complete. So that's it. Thank you for watching the video. If you found it helpful, please like, share and leave comments in the section below.